Hello, today in this video we're gonna see how to clean filter for fuel valve for Toto toilet. Toto toilet model CST614 CEFG. Maybe you have something similar. Uh, this is my uh, fuel uh, valve. And apparently it made in 2015, so it's relatively fresh and uh, looks good. So I hope it uh, should work another few years. So uh, what happened in my particular case, uh, the water was running, but uh, my tank never filled up uh, with water for some reason. I didn't know what happened, so I decided to clean up this thing. It has a filter inside and today I'm going to show you how to clean it. In my case, it helped me. Hopefully it's going to help you as well. So first of all, we have to shut the water. So this is the uh, water stopper we have. I'm going to turn it off. We have to now flush the water as much as we can. No. <laughs> Okay, now we have to we have to take this hose off. It's easy. Uh, use uh, clothes, no napkins, because uh, you definitely have some water dropping out. We need to have this container, water inside, and I'm going to use these tools for my work. Okay, now we have to, we have to unscrew this nut. This valve has a nut here, so we have to this is the, the nut, we have to unscrew it. First, I, I'm going to lose it a little bit to get rid of the water that it's still there in the tank. And then we're going to take it completely off. So, in order to do that, we're going to use... We're going to use either this or this tool. I'm going to... I'm going to move it a little bit so the water go down to the to the container I prepared before. So now I collected the remaining water in this uh, container. That's it. There is no more water in the tank. As you see, it's empty now. And now we can continue with removing the filling valve. This is going should be taken off as well. And uh, filling valve. And now ready to get off. That's it. This is the filling valve. This is the nut. We're gonna put it aside, gonna use it later. This is filling valve. Okay, now. We have to, we have to put it apart. In order to do that, we have to take this stopper or blocker, this piece of plastic. We have to take it off. Okay. In order to do that, you, I use this. See, this is uh, pull it up, and that's it. It's here. We're gonna 
put it back later okay now let's take this cover off that's it cover is off I'm gonna squeeze this and take this off as well that's it pull this part off as you see pull it off and leave it down now turn this counterclockwise and that's it it's it's free to go we have to just pull it a little bit that's it it's here so now we see this the filter i'm gonna pull up you see it's relatively clean because i clean it i cleaned a couple of days ago so this filter is clean clean inside nothing to clean more here so just pull it back that's it what else we have to do we have to clean this tube this tube inside has a hole about two millimeters of diameter and in order to clean it i'm going to use this piece of wire here and i'm going to clean it with this wire let's see what, what's going to come out from there this one i never cleaned so it's still good now it's clean we're gonna flush it in the water as you see this is the particles that came off yeah it still has something inside let me clean it more as these small particles came out now as you see it's good enough it was good enough to to block this uh, just two millimeters hole inside now the hole is is clearly seen uh, and it's clean now we have to put uh, this all these parts together uh, this measure Make sure it's uh, it's facing uh, this direction. So this go back in place. This is have to pull down and then clockwise. Turn clockwise. That's it. Now we have to put the blocker back in place. For this, we're gonna put it here. Pull it down and as you see it clicks so it's it's there that's it and now connect this back like this that's it now this part going back in place as well squeeze it a little bit not much and that's it it's now it's back in place okay, this one is going back that's it so let's put back the cover the cover that's it and um, now we're ready to put it back uh, make sure this washer is clean okay just wipe it up and yeah it's clean this one's supposed to be clean as well so make sure nothing there let me let me have something to clean it okay as you see now this part is very clean feel a valve going back in place 
that's it. Okay, this not going back in place. That's it. I'm gonna tight it with this wrench but just make sure do not over tight it just a little bit i think no more than one turn of 360 degree needed no more than that even less now this part is back in place let's put it this thing back in place as well that's it and uh let's connect the holes back also everything just fine for now and uh i gonna i gonna open the water we have to check if there is any leakage i hope not That's it. The water feeding the tank. Let's see, let me check if there is any leakage. No, looks like it's all fine. This water is supposed to stop soon. That's it, it stopped. We're gonna flush water and we'll see how long it's gonna take for water to fill out the tank. Okay. Okay, it takes about uh, 30 seconds, 25, 30 seconds, this uh, water is fill up again, and that's it, it works. Hopefully it's gonna help you to save money and time and uh, finish work just like I did, successfully. Thank you for watching, bye bye now.